infinity. This horizontal aid symbol represents one of the most fascinating concepts in mathematics and physics. So what is infinity? Take a look at this book. It has a picture of itself on the cover. I can see four images of the book. But think about it. That's just because that's all I'm able to see. The number of images of the book in this case is so large. It's something that makes you feel there's something here that's going on forever. Similarly, look at this cake. It's your birthday and you decide every guest at your party should have at least a piece of this cake. But you don't know how many people are going to turn up. So you come up with this plan. Look at the top of the cake and you decide, okay, for every guest that comes along, I will give them half of the cake. So, take the knife in your hand, your first guest comes along and you give her one half of the cake. Now the second guest will receive half of what's remaining, that is one fourth of the cake. Now your third guest will receive one eighth of the cake. The fourth guest will receive one by sixteenth of the cake. And so on. In this scheme, if you see the number of people who should turn up at your party, such that the cake completely vanishes, it's a number that's too large. Sure, the later guests will receive very, very small portions of the cake, but you can never say that the cake is over. Whenever we have to deal with such concepts that makes you feel something is going on forever, then we call that infinity. This is like a rough idea of what the concept represents. And it's not just in mathematical problems. If you're in a room where both on your left and on your right are two mirrors that are parallel to each other, then you will see infinite images of yourself. That's what is captured in this photograph. There's actually a mirror behind the nail polish that's causing this beautiful phenomenon. Our eye cannot resolve the infinite number of images, but they are there. So let's look at infinity in mathematics. Mathematicians say parallel lines meet at infinity. These are a set of parallel lines. We say lines are parallel when they do not intersect. So what do we mean when we say they intersect at infinity? For that you need to look at intersecting lines. As you go further and further from the point of intersection, you can imagine a portion of it might look parallel. Now a famous misconception is that infinity is the largest number you can think of. Infinity is not a large number. Infinity is a concept. Google is a large number. Google is 10 raised to the power 100. That's 10 followed by 100 zeros. Sure, it take you pages to fill and can't understand what it is. But Google, one Google, is a finite number. It is not representative of infinity. Because if you say Google is infinity, if I add 1 to it, what does that become? Now consider the question 1 by 0. What is 1 by 0? What is the quotient you get when you divide 1 by 0? For that, we need to look at the definition of division. Division is repeated subtraction. What do I mean by this? If I say 3 by 1, I say, okay, 3 by 1, I subtract 1 from 3, I get 2. Then I subtract 1 from 2, I get 1. Then I subtract 1 from 1, I get 0. So I'll stop subtracting 1 from 3 when the answer is less than 1. What I mean is when the remainder is less than the divisor. So in this case, the number of 1's is 3 and the quotient is 3. Consider 5 by 3. When I subtract 3 from 5, I get 2. 2 is less than 3 and the number of 3's is 1. So the quotient is 1. So what's 1 by 0? 
I subtract 0 from 1, I get 1. 1 is larger than 0, so I again subtract 0, I get 1. I again subtract 0, I get 1. I again subtract 0, I get 1. And this seems to go on forever. So does this mean 1 by 0 is um, infinity? No. Because infinity is not a number. That's why we say division by 0 is not defined. So what do we do? I mean, we can clearly see something seems to go on forever and we seem to be stuck here. So that's when we turn to the help of limits. What's a limit? So when I say limit x tending to 2, I mean the value of x is going as close to 2 as possible. So when I say x tending to 0, x is not 0. It's 0, 0.00000 something. It's not 0, but it's very close to 0. Now, so what's limit x tending to 0? 1 by x. So in this case, I am telling, I am dividing 1 by such a small number that it's almost 0. That, I can say, is infinity. Because I can keep on subtracting that number and I'll never get something that's left out that's smaller than that. Now what's 2 by 0? Now we know 2 by 0 is not defined. But limit x tending to 0, 2 by x is infinity. What's a Google by 0? Again, it's not defined. But limit x tending to 0 of Google by x is infinity. Now let's switch the question a bit. What if x is tending to infinity? Think about it. You have 1 and you're dividing it among a huge number of people. You can say that each person almost gets nothing. So limit x tending to infinity 1 by x is 0. Now here comes a tricky one. Limit x tending to infinity x by x. What is infinity by infinity? Can you say it's 1 because we know 2 by 2 is 1, 3 by 3 is 1, 500 by 500 is 1, Google by Google is 1. Can we say it's 0 because we just now saw limit x tending to 0, 1 by x is infinity. Actually both of these are sound arguments. That's why we say infinity by infinity is indeterminate. Let me finish off this discussion on infinity with the Mobius strip. And when I think of the symbol of infinity, I think of the Mobius strip because they sort of look alike. That's not why the symbol came about, but anyway. Let me start it off and make it a bit faster. So, as you can see, this girl takes a strip of paper and she has to paste it in such a way that there is a half twist. So you twist it in half, you can do this at home, it's loads of fun. And that's it. We call this a Mobius strip. Why this is so fascinating is that without lifting the pen from the paper, you can keep on tracing on it such that you'll end up touching both sides of the paper. Usually if you have a piece of paper and you have to draw a line on both sides of it. You have to stop, turn the paper over and draw it on the other side. So because of this, it makes you feel as if this paper has just one side and you can go on forever drawing on it without having to take the pencil off. So that's shown in this animation. You can see that the ball keeps going and I think it's a beautiful manifestation of infinity. So 
Thank you. My name is Soumya Sundaram. To quote Buzz Lightyear, to infinity, and do we really want to go beyond? <laughs>